that's in the store for tomorrow because I need to talk about the scripts and why I'm going to be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Even though everything we'll talk about is good and the bad, but I guess you have to say the ugly, let people see the ugly, hopefully they understand the ugly, and this way they can avoid ever falling into that category. So they can focus on the good, understand that the bad is in the world, and as long as you're focused here, you're going here, you're preaching here, you're doing this, you're doing that, we'll get there, folks. Peace. And G is well aware, and now we're at the point where I need to get down to business. So, let's go. That's the thought that came in my mind as I was walking was, if someone were to ask you, on a scale of one to 10, how dedicated are you to reaching your goal? Even if your answer is a one, the fact that you set a goal in the first place, that's where I come in to help. So your dedication level might not be there, your determination might not be there, but you set a goal. And with that goal being set, there is a way to achieve it. For example, when they say on a scale of one to 10, so if you say on a scale of one to 10, how, how crazy are your boys? I say on a scale of one to 10, my boys are about a 37. You feel me? You see where I'm going? So if I said on a scale of one to 10, how dedicated are you? If you were to say zero or like negative 13, not to say you're a lost cause, but you're just gonna need more work and more effort. But as long as there is a one, that's all that I need personally. Because if you have a goal and a will to work at something, now we're gonna see what your heart is made of. Now we're gonna get the heart and the soul to work together. And the mind is gonna be communicating with both of them constantly. It's a freaking triangle and you're gonna make it beautiful. Now when it comes to referencing a goal, and even if you're not that motivated, how does that tie into what I was thinking about? Because as I'm seeing here, thinking how I like to just talk about life but I'm also thinking I want to get back into fitness and fitness and fitness at the end of the day I want my gym so that's why I want to talk about fitness and record fitness to put that back out so what would recording fitness and talking about fitness do for me if I'm trying to get a gym I'm trying to build a following. And what would having a following do to help benefit me in getting a gym? Because if I have a following, the people will come to the gym off top based on the reputation I built and the faith they have in the plan. And why would that be so important? Because ladies and gentlemen, I hate sales. I know they say hate is a strong word and don't use that word. I hate sales. And you know this, because I've told you it's not about the money. I would love to say I could care less about the money. I'm married, I have kids, and I have hobbies. These aren't Dollar Tree headphones. I finally started paying money for shoes, meaning I didn't go to eBay, buy some Nike lookalikes on, from China. I'm actually ready to get some customized shoes from Nike.com, Nike.com, customize the shoe, the color I want it, and have my text on the back of it. So yeah, it's only 150 bucks, but nonetheless, compared to the old school days when like 60 bucks was a lot of money to buy some shoes because I just didn't have any money at all. I would love to say it's not about the money, but when you think about the wife and the kids and the fact that I have to live and eat. Hey, How we doing? What's going on? I'm talking about my goals in life. I want a gym. Yeah? I want a gym. And I'm ready for my gym. 
Well, that put me in a good mood. Thank you, G. Thank you for the jet. And I pray it comes on. Hi. Oh, the money, dude. And I don't know if you heard anything because his bike was on the whole time. But the money, the money doesn't matter. The fulfillment inside here. The joy inside the heart and the soul. The warmth, the love, everything that comes along with it. If you set a goal and achieve a goal, because I can reference my 405. I was only 25. No, I was only 23. But being a 23 year old male that never had a goal in his life until the age of 23, when you reach the goal, the fulfillment inside is phenomenal. If you could catch people when they're young and encourage that type of motivation, encourage that type of drive and help them reach and achieve anything they set their heart to. You can imagine how contagious that would be, how much it could benefit us all and what a better place, world, we'd be living in. So I know I was talking about hate sales and I don't know if I finished it. So if I hate sales, but a main and huge part slash aspect of owning a gym is sales, memberships, and selling personal training, because that's your guaranteed money. I want you to sign up at my gym because you know you're gonna reach whatever goal you set for yourself. And then when your body changes and, and you're happy and people look at you like, damn, where are you going? You can proudly tell them, hey, this new gym. It's not like a LA Fitness or a 24 or any other damn gym you can imagine. Cause they don't they don't care about like upselling you on this and getting you on that and, and making you buy this and buy that. They care about what you want and how to get what you want. That alone will sell itself. I want me to sell myself. I don't want to be like, oh, you don't have money today? Well, how about we do this? How about we take a dollar today just to hold your thing? Da -da 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 -da. You come back this Friday, da -da 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 -da, and then we're forcing you into buying this membership. If your level is at least a one, we should not have to force you to buy that membership. If you have that one, you owe it to yourself. And let's say, for example, you try it and it doesn't work. At least you know you tried. So two, three, five years later, you don't wonder what if. What if? Is it too late? Blah, 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 blah. Or maybe you come in right now today and you do try and it doesn't work. And a few years goes by and something happens. But nonetheless, whatever happens, if you feel like, dude, I need to get into the gym now, or my doctor says go to the gym, or you know what, I think I'm ready for the gym. Now you have a past experience to reflect on. So when you walk in, it's not like you're walking in blind. You know what to expect. You've been here before. Now that you're older and wiser, you can handle it a lot better. I don't need to reference it. Air balls in Utah and what happened after, even though I just did. But look at it that way and, and let's build, okay? Tomorrow is gonna be the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's see if I even remember. The good, the bad, and the ugly.